already, but but some of these horses that aren't listening on the bit, when you work them on the bend, they can't resist the bit as, as much. So you always want to be working them on the bend. So the leg yield is nice, especially if you want to do a little cantering, because it kind of sets you up for when a leg yield to the right. It's my right rein, right leg's off. Obviously I'm, you know, demonstrating I don't normally ride with my hand a foot off the neck. But so I'll have an active brain and an active left leg. And I want to move in laterally. So if they're not moving evenly, then you would adjust your leg. Now I'll leg yield him towards you guys. Which is easy because that's, that's his, his buddy. Dad? Well, it's his buddy. Oh. And see, he's a little stiff here, see, so. And then, you know, I'm heading towards the barn, so this is going to be an easy leg yield this direction because we're headed for the barn. So, I'm going to make it easy on me and him. There. So now, I'll come right back around and do the left side. Okay, but I'm aiming him towards the barn, so I'm going to make it easy on myself. Okay. So, he's going to obviously want to go towards the barn. So, now, my right rein and right leg's active. Now, some of your horses, if I'm going to leg yield to the left here, and some of your horses aren't figuring this out, go ahead and move, work them into the bin. And then tip the nose. You don't have to, all you have to see is an eyelash. Okay? But if they're resisting and they're not getting it, go ahead and work them into the bin. The shoulders will lead. Now catch the hindquarters up. Now I'll reverse and do the same thing. I'll work him into the bin and then away from the bin. So if he's getting stiff, I'll work him into the bend and then catch the hindquarters up by bringing the nose back to the inside. Does that make sense? Now obviously in dressage, they do a lot of work into the bend. But on green horses, you start out working them away from the bend so it's easier for them to figure it out. Now see, he, see how whenever I will go to take a hold of it, he just gets all braced up. So a lot of your horses aren't listening to the bit. You know, you do a little bit of, I'm just giving you more things to do so you don't get bored. And um, so as you're doing the leg yield, be massaging that tongue. You're getting the flexion at the pole. And, you know, ride them actively so the hindquarters are tracking up. And get all these little pieces put together, you know, to get your horse round and get the beginning of the flexion going on for you. Plus, you'll be able to reach your goal of you know, getting to listen to the bit where you can ride safely behind a, uh, behind a mare and keep your space. You know, she'll be your guide when you're getting too close. Her ears will pin, the tail's gonna get busy. So, but, um, so let's try that. And then we'll kind of get that down, then we'll, we'll go out, if you want to, we'll ride around the pasture a little bit. Um, get everybody kind of out of the arena. So we're still fenced in, and then we can go for a little trail ride. I think there's three acres, and we'll be in the shade then. And, um, and I'll get the horses, you know, they'll have fun out in the woods, eh? Oh, yeah. And great. Um, so, you know, we get outside, you'll have more impulsion. You know, your horse is starting to listen, and when you start working them on the bend like this a little bit, you can get a little more active. Deflection at the pole and maybe trying to get him around. He's a really nice and built horse, you know. And, um, and then, you know, we can trot intermittently. You know, there'll be horses here that are, you know, uh, where you can kind of work on that. Um, getting your horse to listen when you start picking up a little speed. And, uh, and my horse, you know, is ready to go. He already got rode this morning, so I'm just trying to take it easy on him. I just want to ride him again and try to school him. I'll do more than I need to today on him, and then tomorrow I can do less and he'll do better. So, so he already had a, a good session this morning, but I, I didn't really. just leave mine here and you can just ride her one. Yeah, that's a guy. I love big horses. Yeah, <laughs> they, they fit my legs, you know. I was going to ride there, the little gated horse I wanted to ride. That and they're like, absolutely not, because it's going to look horrible in photos. You, your feet are hanging down to her knees. Oh, well, I'm she's happy gated, to leave her. And she's a little cutie, you know. Or I guess it's I, well, she's a dog. Yeah. So. Okay, we'll get going here and...